The senior Manx Grand Prix is being flagged away by Dewan Killip, son of hugely respected travelling marshal Alan Kipper Killip, who passed away recently. Kipper was born ten years after the first Manx Grand Prix took place. In that time, we've had the likes of world champions Jeff Duke and Phil Reed win the senior, along with other illustrious names like Malcolm Uphill, who will add their name onto the prestigious Roll of Honour today. Board Marcus Simpson, exciting local Manxman, very fast, fastest actually as a newcomer in practice, heads off third on road. Next away, Jamie Williams at number four. We saw uh, Victor Lopez with a bit of a start as well, didn't we? Yeah, and of course, Victor won the junior, very exciting. Another fast rider on the move and looking to post a strong result in this senior Manx. So we're on board then with Mark Simpson. This is out of Quarterbridge, the blast down to Braddon Bridge. We just saw Lopez and Ingham go through. And here Marcus he is. Simpson steadying the bike. First lap, cold tyres, full fuel. Got to take caution, yet not waste any speed. Now that's an exciting man. Joe Yeardsley, another Manxman, starting P15 on road. Now, of course, he was leading the junior until after setting a lap record from a standing start. Engine failure cost him the chance for finishing that race. He'll want to make amends in this one, Dave. First riders are coming through Glen Helen. But he is going, and it's amazing to see him wearing the newcomer's jacket as well at number 15. He's yet to finish a race around the mountain course. Victor Lopez being caught. Yeah. Marcus Simpson's closed that 10-second gap already by Glenn Helen. He is flying. So too, Jamie Williams, he is cracking what looks to be a setting pace. He's coming up to Glenn Helen already. We have to wait, I think, for Joe Yeardsley to come through to get a true picture of how this opening lap will develop. On board with Simpson. And that is Lopez just to his left. Kronkovody straight as he's getting the draft up the inside. They're going to try to hold it flat. Whoa, look at that flat in top gear through that right hand kink. Now that is a corner for the brave. So we're just coming up to the 11th milestone. Here comes Joe Yearsley. So where is Joe Yearsley? And he leads seven tenths of a second over Simpson. Williams a further second back. Then it's uh, Ingham in fourth, Chris Cook in fifth. So we're on board with the man in fourth place out of Glen Helen. Whoa, out of Ren Collin. Oh, Marcus Simpson, look at that. Jeez, he's riding so well. Hard to believe this is actually his first ever Manx Grand Prix. Back on board with Jamie Williams. What Another we, fast Manx rider. What we haven't mentioned, Cam, is as well, because there's been delays all day. Parts of the track still a bit damp, so, that you know, it's not perfect out there. Absolutely not. We have to remember, Dave, there's no siding lap, no warm-up. The, these riders, the first time they encounter the conditions is now. in the race. Yeah, right now. Chris Cook. Yeah, it's currently fifth at the moment. He's got Rigby in sixth place behind him on the leaderboard. Meanwhile, here goes Williams past Lopez. So, Lopez, any chance of repeating that junior glory seems to be slipping away on this opening lap. Yeah, look at the damp patches on the edge of the road there, Dave. As you said, that's what these riders are contending with. And we see again here... Dan Ingham, look at all those dark, damp patches on the edge of the road and around the white lines. Yeah, I think uh, Guthrie's, which is what they'll be coming up to soon, was uh, a little bit earlier in the day was giving cause for concern. So Marcus Simpson, 24-year-old, local. Can he give cause for concern for Joe Yearsley, the race leader, who Joe Yearsley was still leading at Bluff Bridge. We've got to wait for Yearsley to come through to see at Ramsey if he continues to pull out that leader in front. Yeah, Jamie Williams there, look, he's a good rider, finished third in the same race last year, has definitely been one of the favourites all week, setting very quick times in practice. So here they come into Glen Helen, Simpson and Ingham, as they head up towards Sarah's Cottage. Uh, Marcus, just, oh, Marcus Simpson up the inside. Wow. Wow, that would have woke Dan Ingham up. That was There was no room, and he made it. I think maybe Ingham was a little bit too close to the wall for comfort just at this point, and that maybe he drifted out a little bit wider, perhaps. We'll Look, it's to tough to for the riders. Mm -hmm. You need to take caution and, and show respect to your competitors, but when you're racing, you can't waste time behind a competitor that's slower than you. So here comes Joe Yearsley and Toya Slow. It was a 39.6 second pit stop for him. He's about six seconds slower than Simpson. He's got his work cut out, but however... Well, he lost a huge chunk of time. He's 8.7 seconds behind Simpson at Glen Helen. This is Rigby, number 54. He's up into fifth place. Chris Cook is now down into sixth. Now we see, I thought Dan Ingham might have been able to jump on the tail of Marcus Simpson for a toe, but 
Simpson's already starting to pull ground and clear out. Young Manxman really showing incredible pace on these super sport machines, absolutely wringing the neck of that Yamaha R6. Here comes Jamie Williams still in that uh, third place. He's about seven seconds down on Joe Yearsley. Let's have a look on board with Jamie Williams now. He's Honda mounted, unlike most of the competition, which are on Yamahas. Up into the gooseneck, and Simpson has shaken off Ingham, that's for sure. Ingham back in fourth place. You see he just got his pit signal there on the side of the course, so he knows exactly where he is in this race. A climb up to Snaefell Mountain. Coming up oh, to white line to white line. Incredible. And here is Jamie Williams. Still in third place. We've got to wait for Joe Yearsley, though, to see what's going on. So here we are at uh, the Ramsey hairpin. And Joe Yearsley. Yearsley. He's pulled the ground back in now. It's plus four. He's closed a couple of seconds. 4.3 seconds. So he's he was... That's four and a half seconds from Glenn Helen to Ramsey. So Marcus Simpson might have a bit of a battle on his hands. They start the last lap. The gap at the bungalow was 3.9 seconds between Marcus Simpson and Joe Yearsley. But the end of lap two, it's down to two and a half seconds. Game on, Cameron Donald. Coming into the gooseneck as Lopez and Joe Yearsley with two riders ahead of him. Cam, that could cost him on this final it lap. certainly could. He was on the throttle early. The back stepped out. He's going to have to waste no time. Oh, oh. he's not. Way. He's not. There's your answer. Wow, well, on his way up to Guthrie's, he is absolutely flat to the mat. Yeah, so he should, and it's a good place to uh, pick off other riders. Yeah, the overtaking opportunities, there are a lot more of them through there. Oh, Marcus Simpson, the miles are counting down as he heads down towards signpost. Yeah, but he's just this man, every sector, pulling out a couple of seconds on Marcus Simpson each time. Joe years now. I just wonder, though, after the disappointment of the junior, what will he be thinking? Marcus Simpson crosses the line. We have to wait for this man to come across, though, Joe Yearsley. Joe needs to stay focused. He needs to push as hard as he can, but he can't afford to make any mistakes. Checkered flag is out and waiting to greet Joe Yearsley. He wins the Senior Manx Grand Prix, and it's a new lap record for the race as well. Incredible from Joe Yearsley. Oh, to take victory in the centenary Manx Senior. So this is how it finishes, and Dan Ingham just forces third place from Jamie Williams. Marcus Simpson in second, but it's all hail Joe Yeardsley.